supporting those who served our country. Deangate Care Home in Barnsley is the first in South Yorkshire to achieve veteran-friendly framework status. The scheme aims to tackle loneliness and isolation and improve health and well-being for over 25,000 veterans in care homes across England. It recognises the importance of what they did in their career and what it's brought to their lives and how it's enriched it. When they're identified as a veteran, they get given a little poppy. So the service number on what they preferred to be called when they were serving and where they served. So it's on the front of the door. In their individual portfolios, it, it shows you what dates are important to them. So, for example, last year with Bill and, and Ian, we went down to the cenotaph, the local cenotaph. They went in full uniform and they wanted to remember those who served before them. We're in the process of setting up a veteran brunch, but we do different reminiscence workshops as well so they can talk about their life experience. If it wasn't for them, we wouldn't have what we have today. 94-year-old veteran Morris Churchhouse is benefiting from the framework at Deangate Care Home. This is me, I'm 18. This is my passing out parade. He joined the RAF for National Service in 1948. It's taught me a lot. Yeah. I want to bring it back. That's a service. Bring it back. Stop all the snives on the streets. Guns, everything. You don't know her very well. Just don't forget it. <laughs> oh, keep it going all the time. Fellow veteran Ian Dickinson is 91. He taught basic skills such as English and maths in the army as part of national service. I had some who did machine drawing, things... And they were very good. The rest is just reading, writing, arithmetic. In a way, I'm, I'm proud I did my national service. And I think a lot, I think a hell of a lot of people should do national service. Probably not two years, but sometime in some sort of discipline, which a lot of people haven't got. Residents here are getting the best care with honour and remembrance given for their duty in the forces. Anna Riley, GB News.